Hello students, welcome to Swami Math Solutions. Today's topic is the Cautious Linear Equation. An equation of the form x power n d power n y by dx power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 d power n minus 1 y by dx power n minus 1 plus and so on plus a n minus 1 x dy by dx plus a n y is equal to q of x where a1, a2 and so on an are real constants and q of x is a function of x this is Cauchy's linear differential equation here there is x power n d power n y by dx power n that means n the derivative x power n minus 1 n minus 1 the derivative x dy by dx ok this is Cauchy's linear equation if you write this in operator form this becomes x power n d power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 d power n minus 1 plus and so on plus a n minus 1 x d plus a n into y is equal to q of x where capital D is d by dx ok this is the operator form of Cauchy's linear equation now how to solve this Cauchy's linear equation Okay. This equation can be solved by converting this into linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Okay. To solve Cauchy's linear equation, the substitution is x equal to e power z. Uh, that is z equal to log x. So now dy by dx can be written as dy by dz into dz by dx. But z is log x here, dz by dx is 1 by x, this is dy by dz into 1 by x, implies that x dy by dx is equal to dy by dz. Okay? Similarly, d square y by dx square is equal to d by dx of dy by dx. This can be written as d by dz of dy by dx into dz by dx. Now simplifying this we get 1 by x square into d square y by dx square dz square minus dy by dz. Okay. From this we get x square d square y by dx square send this x square to LHS x square d square y by dx square is equal to d square y by dz square minus dy by dz ok now this becomes x dy is equal to theta y where theta is d by dz theta is the operator d by dz then this becomes x dy equal to theta y and this becomes x square d square is equal to theta into theta minus 1 into y similarly x cube d cube is equal to theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 into y and so on substitute all these values in equation 1 we get a linear differential equation with constant coefficients. How do you know how to solve that linear equation? Now we will do problems on Cauchy's linear equation. First one, solve x square d square y by dx square minus x dy by dx plus y is equal to log x. Solution. Clearly, this is a Cauchy's linear differential equation. Write this in operator form. Given differential equation is x square d square minus x d plus 1 into y is equal to log x. This is Cauchy's 
linear differential equation. Okay. Now the substitution is put x equal to e power z. That is z equal to log x. Okay. Then we have x d is equal to theta. Okay. Where theta is d by dz. x square d square is equal to theta into theta minus 1. Okay. Substitute all these values in equation 1. Substitute these. Substitute these values in equation 1. Get d square, right? Theta into theta minus 1. Minus xd. xd is theta plus 1 into y is equal to log x. Log x means z. Okay. That is theta square minus theta minus theta is minus 2 theta plus 1 into y is equal to z. Let it be equation 2. Now this is a linear differential equation with constant quotients. The auxiliary equation is the auxiliary equation is m square minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. This can be written as m minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. That is m equal to 1 comma 1 is a twice repeated root 1. Therefore yc is c1 plus c2z into e power z. This is yc. Now the particular integral yp the particular integral yp is 1 by theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 into z. Okay. Now this can be written as 1 by theta minus 1 over square into z. This can be written as 1 by 1 minus theta whole square of z. Okay. This is 1 minus theta all power minus 2 of z. We have the formula for this 1 minus x all power minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube plus and so on. Okay. Now using this expansion, this can be written as 1 plus 2 theta plus 3 theta square plus and so on of z. But this is z. We differentiate one time and the next derivative is 0. That's why it's enough to expand up to theta. Is equal to 1 plus 2 theta of z. Is equal to 1 into z is z plus 2 theta of z. Here theta means derivative z. That is z plus 2. Theta of z is 1. That is yp equal to z plus 2. The general solution is the general solution of given differential equation is y equal to yc plus yp that is y equal to here yc is c1 plus c2z into e power z plus yp is z plus 2. Now write z in terms of x c1 plus c2 z is log x and e power z is x plus z is log x plus 2 y equal to c1 plus c2 log x into x plus log x plus 2 is the required solution. Next problem. Solve x cube d cube y by dx cube plus 2x square d square y by dx square plus 2y is equal to 10 into x plus 1 by x. This is clearly Cauchy's linear differential equation. First write the given differential equation in operator form. Given differential equation is x cube d cube plus 2x square d square plus 2 into y is equal to 10 into x plus 1 by x. Let it be equation 1. Here capital D means 
capital D is the differential operator d by dx. Okay, this is Cauchy's linear equation. To solve this, the substitution is x equal to e power z, where x is e power z, that is z equal to log x. And then we have x d is equal to theta, x square d square is equal to theta into theta minus 1, x cube d cube is equal to theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2. Okay, now we have to substitute all these values in equation 1. Substitute these values in equation 1. Great. The theta means the differential operator d by dz. The x cube d cube is theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 plus 2x square d square in place of x square d square write theta into theta minus 1 plus 2 into y is equal to 10 into x plus 1 by x here x is e power z 1 by x means e power minus z is theta cube multiplying these three we get theta cube minus 3 theta square plus 2 theta this is 2 theta square minus 2 theta plus 2 into y is equal to 10 into e power z plus e power minus z that is theta cube minus 3 theta square plus 2 theta square is minus theta square 2 theta minus 2 theta cancel plus 2 into y is equal to 10 into e power z plus e power minus z. So let it be equation 2. Okay. Now this is a linear differential equation with constant quotients. Okay. Write the auxiliary equation first. The auxiliary equation is m cube minus m square plus 2 is equal to 0. Now you have to find the roots of this equation. Okay. We use synthetic division, select the coefficients, m cube coefficient is 1, m square coefficient is minus 1, there is no m term, 0, and the last constant is 2. Okay. I think minus 1 is the root here. Check this at m equal to minus 1. 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, minus 1 into 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 is minus 2. Minus 1 into minus 2 plus 2, 0 plus 2 is 2, minus 1 into 2 is minus 2, or 2 minus 2, 0, okay. That means m equal to minus 1 is the root, that means m plus 1 is a factor, and the remaining factor is m square minus 2m plus 2 equal to 0, okay. Implies m plus 1 equal to 0 m square minus 2m plus 2 equal to 0. Implies that. m equal to minus 1. Now, there are no factors for this. Since this is a quadratic equation, m equal to minus b means 2 plus or minus root b square is 4. Minus 4ac means minus 8 all by 2. This is 2 plus or minus. 4 minus 8 is minus 4. Square root of minus 4 is 2i by 2. That is, cancel 2, this becomes 1 plus or minus i. Therefore, the roots are m equal to minus 1 and 1 plus or minus i. Therefore, yc equal to corresponding to minus 1, c1 e power minus z. Now, 1 plus or minus i, these are complex roots. Corresponding to these roots, e power z into c1, c2 cos z plus c3 sin z okay this is yc next we have to find the particular integral yp yp is equal to 1 by theta q minus theta square plus 2 into 10 into e power z plus e power minus z okay 
this is equal to 10 into operate this on both functions 1 by theta q minus theta squared plus 2 e power z plus 1 by theta q minus theta squared plus 2 e power minus z okay is equal to 10 into here we can replace theta with 1 here z coefficient is 1 1 by 1 q minus 1 squared plus 2 into e power z plus here if we replace theta with minus 1 the denominator becomes 0 since minus 1 is root of the auxiliary equation okay in this case we use alternate method put z in the numerator and differentiate the denominator with respect to theta this becomes 3 theta square minus 2 theta into e power minus z is equal to 10 into this is 1 by 2 e power z plus z by now we can replace theta with minus 1 3 into minus 1 over square minus 2 into minus 1 into e power minus z okay is equal to 10 into e power z by 2 plus this is 3 into 1 this is plus 2 this is z by 5 e power minus z okay is equal to multiplying with 10 this becomes 5 e power z plus 2 z e power minus z this is yp okay general solution of equation 2 the general solution of equation 2 is y equal to yc plus yp that is y equal to yc is c1 e power minus z plus e power z into c2 cos z plus c3 sin z plus yp is 5 e power z plus 2z e power minus z okay that is y equal to now I have to write z in terms of x c1 you know that e power z is x this becomes x inverse or 1 by x plus e power z is x into c2 cos z is log x plus c3 sin z is log x plus 5 e power z means 5x plus 2z that means 2 log x e power minus z is x inverse or 1 by x this is the required solution okay okay students hope you understand cautious linear equation thank you so much for watching see you in the next video